And we also took a look at the OB Hi OB200. It's a box that allows you to connect up a traditional telephone with the internet. So you can make calls in this example that I used over Google Voice or uh, many other voice services that the box supports. It's really cool and it's kind of neat to just pick up an old phone like this one. This was the one I got, I think, when I was 15, uh, when I got my first phone line. Uh, you can pick up this phone and dial a number, and the calls are routed through my Google Voice account to any phone number in the world, actually. And the uh, US uh, connections are free, and then any Anything overseas has a pretty reasonable rate. Uh, it's a really convenient way to get phone calls made. But if you are outside the US, again, it works with, I think, 20 or 30 different voice services, if not more. So you have a lot of choice there. Uh, but I did miss something in the review, especially for US people. And I'm going to cover it now. Uh, and I'm going to add this to my uh, snippets channel so people can find it later. And that involves 911 access. So here in the United States, we have something called enhanced 911. So if I were to dial 911 on my uh, phone here, whether it's my cell phone or the phone that's connected to the phone company, uh, the emergency services get the location that I am at when I make that call. And that's one of the requirements in the United States that if you dial 911, your phone has to report your location. Uh, these voice over IP services don't do that by default. In fact, there's a big sticker on the front here saying no emergency calls. It's not uh, designed to do that. But there is a way to make emergency calls on here and have them routed appropriately. But you do have to pay an annual fee to a service provider for that to work. And of course, your uh, internet connection needs to be accurate active when it happens, but let me just show you how to do that real quick. So OBHI, if you go on their uh, website, they have uh, a service set up with Anvio, which has an E911 service that costs $25 a year. Uh, so if you were to pick up your phone and dial 911, it will route through the box to Anvio, and then Anvio will report all of your information to the authorities and route you to the appropriate 911 call center. There was a big issue here uh, in my state, and I'm sure many others in the United States, when cell phones be became very popular, all the 911 911 traffic was routing to different places, not to where it should go. So they've really improved that quite a bit. And when you set up your address with Anvio, it will link you up with the right call center. So when you dial 911, it puts that call into the right place. But again, uh, 25 bucks a year to have that service available to you. And where you get at it is in your control panel. If you click on your device, there'll be a button for e Anvio E911 setup. And you do have to give up one of your four service provider slots for that. So if you have Google Voice already enabled, uh, Anvio for example, will go into SP2, but you can add uh, two other voice over IP services to it, plus the one you have from OB Hives. I think you'll probably be okay with that. Uh, and you can get your E911 set up. So just uh, do that, especially if you are cutting the landline cord, because if you try to make a 911 call from your home phone and you've disconnected from your phone company, the call is not going to go through or you'll have to use a cell phone. So my advice would be uh, for peace of mind, pay the 25 bucks so that in case somebody has to dial 911 from a home phone that you've wired into your OB device, they're going to get the call through. So just a public service announcement there. Some other folks asked if you can use your existing landline number, and it doesn't support, at least Google Voice, does not support porting over from a landline directly. But uh, one viewer wrote in uh, and said you can actually port it to a throwaway cell phone number first and then port from the cell phone over to Google Voice. If you really want to keep your home phone, maybe you can port it over to a, uh, you know, a cell phone provider like one of those prepaid carriers and then have Google Voice pick up that cell phone number and transfer it over. I think there's a one-time fee for that, about $20 from Google Voice to do that, but uh, you can port your uh, phone number into Google Voice and uh, keep your number if you want, but it'll take a little bit of extra work. And some other folks asked if you can send faxes through the device, and the device does in fact support faxing, but I think it's going to be dependent on who you're using for a call provider. And I have not tested making faxes with Google Voice, at least in the recent past. I must have done one at some point, but uh, not recently. And at the moment, I don't have a fax machine in the house, believe it or not. So I have to wait till I get another one in for re a review, one of those multifunction devices. So when I do have one, I'll try to do a fax out and a fax in via Google Voice and see if it works. I think I've tried to make uh, modem calls to BBSs in the past with Google Voice, and I had mixed results. So I'm not sure how well faxing is going to work with the service because uh, Voice over IP does tend to me mess up faxing. And if the provider, in this case, Google Voice, uh, doesn't directly support faxing, you'll have some issues. But there are uh, Voice over IP providers that are friendly to faxing, so you might be able to find one of those in the list of suggested services that you can use with the OBHI device. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger, Brian Miller, Mr. Morse, and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.